If you could remove one event from your life, what would it be? This kid need me in the nuts as hard as he could in high school and as an adult I've had constant pain for over a decade from various inguinal hernias. It's not something I often talk about because I still experience shame. I lost my eyesight in my right eye because I was a teenager who thought I knew better and did not wear a paintball mask. It was such a stupid mistake and caused me an endless amount of trauma. However, I am grateful that it taught me in hardest way that impairments are not always visual, pun. At this point in my life, I have lived longer without vision in that eye than I did with. Oftentimes, it is common for me to be completely unaware that anything is abnormal about myself until I am made to realize that something or someone is trying to grab my attention from the right side and then it becomes a stark reminder of that stupid fateful day. Usually I shrug it off. But sometimes it still stings. So. My answer to this question is that I would have never asked my mom to buy me a paintball gun. Ultimately. I think out of all the events that shaped my being. This one has the least likelihood of having drastic butterfly effect type consequences. Being robbed by someone I considered a friend. Ruined my trust in people. Being abused by my dad. It has really messed me up. I can't stand the nightmares. I hate that his abuse makes me scared of every man I meet. I hated having to tell my mom what happened and seeing her heart break. I hate that I loved him. He could have recovered from the drinking and gambling and I would have forgiven him. I could even forgive the spankings and the anger. But you can't be forgiven after touching your own daughter like that. There is no going back. Finding and reading the spiral bound notebook filled with my mom's ramblings during one of her bad bipolar episodes. Wherein she described being a ped at the age of 20. I was 8 when I read it. I witnessed a nasty murder. I was in my jeep with the top down and watched two guys argue on the sidewalk. I didn't want to get involved so I just sat there. One guy pulled out a homemade knife, shank, and plunged it into the other guy's eye. The sound was horrific. I wish I had beeped my horn or something and tried to get them to move along. The guy was later caught and convicted of murder but I'll never forget the crunching sound when that knife went into his skull. Nightmares for life. Also. My motorcycle accident where I nearly lost my leg 35 years ago. That sucked. Agreeing to a deal with my parents. It led to me going to their choice of my college instead of mine. And it led to me having a ton of debt. And it led to me working dead end jobs instead of becoming a teacher. Breaking my ankle when I was 8. I was trying to climb my grandma's rose apple tree and shattered my ankle. I'm in my 20s and have had 7 operations on it and ended up eyeing my other leg while trying to avoid injury on my tie ankle all because I wanted a fruit and grandma told me to wait until morning. My brother's suicide. I believe my life would be completely different had this not had happened. My dad dropping dead in front of me when I was a teen. Last year. When I went in for surgery to fix a broken leg and something went wrong. I woke up 18 days later with 8B. When I woke up I couldn't see. Move. Or speak. I can sort of walk now. I can't really see faces. Or read well. And I slur my words when I speak but I'm largely functional for caring for myself. Edit. I've started an AMA. I'm slow. But I'll try to answer all questions there. My mom's suffering before she passed. Hard to choose. Some of the worst brought some of the best. I would say my marriage but it brought me my best friends that helped me after it ended. Also she got me to volunteer with her to help rehabilitate baby songbirds at the university. Something I never would have thought of doing on my own. I wouldn't give that up even though my life sucks post divorce. Crossing a road in Melbourne in 1999. Got hit by car and given permanent brain damage. And from that moment my life changed course forever. If it hadn't happened. I would have had a much different much less painful life. I was working part time as a gardener. Studying IT. Preparing to apply for uni to do a course on journalism which I had a good chance of getting into. 
was also doing volunteer work with street people. And paneling and presenting a couple of radio shows on a minor AM radio station. And had just done over a year of physical rehabilitation for a bad back. Lots of gym and fitness work. Physio and I was about the fittest I've ever been. Then I crossed the road and everything changed forever. It's a tie between losing my dad and losing my sister. No need to be sorry for my loss or to feel sorry for me. I just wish I'd had longer with them. Being beaten by my dad for going to a friend's wedding. I had to go because I was the maid of honor. And I already told my parents. Got home. Was accused of not telling them about it. Coming home late. 7 to 8 p.m. And not attending my uncle's get together party. I knew what was gonna happen next. So I ran into my room and locked the door. Banging on the door, with me barring the door with my body. And my dad broke in with a crowbar to beat me. Ran away after that for a while. My parents meeting. The guy's always been a dick. She deserves so much better. Either quitting college or going in the first place. My wife passing away. Let's just remove that part and have her sitting next to me right now talking about the ham she's going to make for Thanksgiving. The time I had a surgery and the anesthesia read with my brain and now I can't I'm function as a person. I went in for surgery on a broken leg. And left with brain damage. I know what you are going through. Losing my mom. Losing my dad. My sister's death from brain cancer. She was 21. It was a month before my 18th birthday. Miss her every day. Wasn't ready for college after that. Tried to go anyway. Failed. Now I'm in my 30s. No career. Severe depression. I feel constant guilt that she didn't get to be here but I am. And shame that I'm wasting it. If I could remove a second it would be dating an emotionally abusive man for 9 years right after leaving college. And letting him gaslight and isolate me. But I'm back in college now. At 32. And I'm really trying. I'm taking it slow. And the financial issues are a constant stressor as well as dealing with the healthcare system. But still. I'm going to make it. For Christine. 3. Edit. Thank you so much for all the comments of encouragement and support. I came in here ready to make a my birth joke. I'm just gonna say it. This thread is so sad. I thought for sure it would be more embarrassing but funny stuff but it's actually just a lot of really sad events. My ass all abuse. My mother telling investigators that despite there being an eyewitness. That I lied about being s sorely assaulted by a grown man when I was a child. They chose to believe her instead of a traumatized broken kid. Ruined my life. I wish my easily manipulated teenage brain wasn't talked into going to some out of state private school for my degree. I have since transferred to a state school and commute. It's going to take me a little longer to graduate and I'm saving a ton but because of that initial decision I'm over $75. 000 and the whole and still racking it up. If you remove the death of a close friend, would that friend be alive? Being buck ragged as a punishment by my parents growing up. Look it up if you don't know what it is. Worst childhood memory by far. Despite being close with my family. And again. The two times I received it I had been a pretty big piece of... Who knows what I'd be like today if I wasn't punished for it. The day I had to call 911 on dad's mistress number 2 trying to kill him because he decided to stay with mistress number 1 for whom he left my mom and my 5 siblings for. Talk about hot mess. I was a victim of domestic violence from 16-18. But in the end it's made me a better therapy student and will make me a better therapist. I could do without the lingering PTSD and anxiety though. Tinnitus. Open bracket. Edit. Thanks for the award. I just wish I stood up and kicked our varsity coach in the nuts or face when he suggested my teammates beat the out of me for being late to practice one week after my aunt and uncle passed away five days apart. 
I will never understand that moment or why it happened but I felt like nothing. Worthless. First day as a dog groomer, had to help with expressing dog and L glands and got a face full of them. And puked in front of everyone. Colon. Dot. Having the final impressions of my teeth done after getting my braces off when I was 15. The tech thought it would be fun to put both trays in my mouth and watch me struggle to breathe. My dad just sat there and watched it all go down without batting an eyelash. Had my mom been there. It would have gone very differently. As a result. It screwed up my jaw for 17 years. I haven't trusted dentists since. That is lawsuit territory. I was around 15. And I had bought a VR headset from those vending machines. Yeah. I tried watching VR PRN and my mom walked in. The amount of embarrassment I felt was unreal. Getting ME. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Which led to me losing my house and career and having to live in tie rentals and subsist on benefits. I'm so sorry. I did not understand the severity of this disease, most likely due to its tie name which makes it sound like a you are tired. No IT is terrible, until I watched a documentary about a woman suffering from this on Netflix and it seems extremely isolating and awful. Especially if you don't get a diagnosis for a while and even with Oniosa seems like a lot of people just don't get it, like I didn't, and so it adds insult to injury. Hope you have a good support system and I hope that more money goes into research for it. Let me know if there is a fun tidinator for research. When I was molested. Edit. Thanks for the awards. My first cigarette. Being born to my mom. I like being alive. Though my mom is an actual monster. I wish it was someone else. Definitely the cancer. When I was lured into a trap and enslaved for 6 months when I was 19. I was forced under the threat of death to work at a factory at night and do hard labor during the day. All for no pay. I was threatened with death if I told anyone. I lived on bologna and free food from the factory where I worked. I felt terrible every single day. I'm 31 now and I've, more or less, gotten over it. But I know it left its permanent damage. I now have an extreme aversion to being told what to do. Even my own mother triggers it sometimes. Anytime I was as sorely assaulted. It's not just one event but if I could combine them all and completely remove from memory. It would be that. I wish I never met my baby's mom. I love my daughter but I hate her mom so much. Our relationship was horrible and just got worse when we broke up. I wish I had a child with anyone else. Seeing my cousin's reconstructed face in the casket after a DUI hit and run. Which I could remember him smiling and laughing and not eerie and a sigh off. He looked like a scary doll and I was only maybe 10 so it stuck with me. Now that's the only way I can remember him. My kidney stone of the 4th of April. 2020 and having to go to a hospital during a pandemic. My suicide attempt. Apart from now being in a much healthier place mentally. I regret some of the ways it's changed my family. My parents are a lot less pushy and strict when it comes to my plans for the future. Which they believe they pressured me into. That's true to some extent. They definitely needed to learn to dial back in some regards. In fact. I think we all had to. But now they seem almost afraid to advise me on anything. Even when I ask for it. I'm almost out of college. But I still have a lot to learn about adult life. And I'm not gonna always know when to ask for advice. I never thought anyone would say this. But I want my parents to be a little more meddlesome. Grad school. College was an amazing, magical time that I would love to have a chance to experience again. Grad school was the exact opposite. It's turned me off from two fields that I used to love. And I feel like I've completely wasted three years of my life. If you would have asked me a month ago I would have said losing my dad in 2017. Now I'd have to say losing my brother a few weeks ago. My dad lived until he was 62 but my brother only got to 36. 
he lived a tormented life but things seemed to be looking up finally. Getting married when I knew it was a mistake. Meeting my ex. The aftermath and how my mental state ended up was not worth the learning experience. When I was 21. I joined the marines. Only lasted a month in boot camp. I wasn't meant for military life. Honestly. Man. Nothing wrong with that. It happens. Not everyone is cut out for the military. And there's nothing wrong with that. At least you figured it out quick and were able to move on. You could have figured it out 6 months into your contract and been stuck for several more years. Two of my friends who hated each other got in a fight and one of them picked up a huge piece of concrete and fractured my other friend's skull. No one died but if the dude sneezed his eye could have fallen out of his socket. I wish it never happened. My dad calling me fat when I was a slightly chubby 9 year old. Was part of a pattern that absolutely ruined my sense of self. After reading this comment section I have found a new appreciation for how good my life has been so far. I've been going through a rough patch lately but really life could be a lot worse. I'm blessed. Removing my interaction with this one toxic girl. Never met her. Never suffered because of her. My cousin moving in for 3 months. He was terrible. The only reason he left was because he was dragged out of school in cuffs. The day a car swerved and hit my vehicle head on. It lead to so many issues but the main one being the fetal trauma which ultimately led to the loss of my second born the day after he was born. If it wasn't for that I'd have my second born and he would have turned one in August. My dad taking me to follow my mom who was with another guy. Stopped at an underground parking lot and my dad got into an altercation with the guy. I was 10 and crying in the car while my older brother sat there in silence. I can't help to think why did my dad would put me through that trauma at such a young age. To this day. I still don't know why and don't want to know why. Moving from my old house. I think that's the worst mistake of my life. But as a kid I couldn't do much about it. My sister passing away. Second to that. My first time trying opioids. My uncle staying with my family as a kid. Doubt I'll ever be able to have a normal relationship with someone, physically. Doesn't exactly make me prime dating material. Miscarriages. My dad punching me as a kid and sending me into my first full on panic attack. 25 years later. Still have crippling anxiety and panic attacks. Chances are I'd still have anxiety problems anyways but the first panic attack being triggered by that. Yeah. He can rot in hell. That time I developed a bone infection in my C-spine. Three brutal surgeries later I'm half the person I was physically and mentally. And I will be in severe pain for the rest of this life. Can I remove events in the future? Can I erase my death and become immortal? I mean... Yes. If you know you remove the day of your demise then that will never occur making you immortal. Man out here cheating the system. That time I committed a felony and dead up the rest of my life. Kicking that dumpster out of anger 5 hours ago that lead me to sitting in the ER unsure just now. Losing my father back in 2017. Cancer. The 12th of January 2019 I wrecked my car. I really liked that car and I miss it. Also all the money that I'm out because of wrecking it. Being up hit by a family member at the age of 14 and ending up pregnant as a result. My dad did this to my sister when she was 13 and the mere knowledge of what he put her through is worse than everything he did to me. I hope whoever abused you chokes on a dick and dies. A visit to a chiropractor. I'd like my life back. I'd like to walk and bend and move without pain or needing a brace to get through the day. I'd very much like to hear what happened. I feel chiropractic is unproven and potentially harmful. Would you mind sharing? I want to say none of them because they all made me who I am today and who I am now is someone I like. Blah. 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 But that's a lie. Take away my S or assault please. I'm tired of being haunted. 
that time in 4th grade where I stuttered so much the teacher humiliated me in front of the entire class. And they laughed at me. Getting diagnosed with cancer when I was a teenager and living in constant fear of it returning. I wouldn't remove anything. Who knows what other terrible event would take its place. The time I was drugged and lost my virginity to gang up a at 14. I wish I never hit my ex. It was an awful thing for me to do but I was so flustered with anger and the lies and deception that I kinda lost control of myself. I should have left him the first day I visited and he made me feel ugly and unworthy. High school. Yeah high school sucks especially when you get bullied. The time I shouted big Jesus. After a rather large pastor walked into church. The event of my dad's sperm saying what up let me inside you to my mom's egg. I don't know how ugly motherers keep finding each other. So back when I was 19. I was dating a guy who's now my husband. It was my little sister's birthday and my parents celebrated by taking her and my sisters to the fancy hotel resort down the street from us. I said I had to work. But I went to hang out with my BF instead. I figured we could go back to my house since the fam would all be at the hotel overnight. Then I suggested a bubble bath in my parents big jacuzzi tub. Well the dogs started barking and I looked out the window and my stepdad had come home. Apparently the DVD player in the room didn't work so he was grabbing a portable. Anyway he caught us and I ended up going back to the hotel with him. Mom had a long stupid talk with me about kids and hormones and sx. Etc. Then she forced me to go to the ob gin and get put on birth control. Anyway I wish that event never happened. I wish my bf and I had just gone to a movie or the river instead. When my friend showed me prn. Ugh. I can relate. I was taught sx acts when I was 6. I'm sorry. The time I called my 7th grade history teacher dad. I'm sorry. Mr. Donny. Birth. When I was up 3 years ago by someone I had trusted as a fitness coach for 3 years. When my mom didn't believe me and my ex stepdad told me I should have known the consequences of my actions. Remove all that. And I wouldn't have attempted twice and wouldn't have to worry about getting flashbacks while being intimate with my partner. That time I spent 2 hours watching Charlie St. Cloud. What an awful movie. The orgy. This is so ominous. My whole childhood. I had experienced war and that's it. Nothing bright and colorful about my childhood. Just death. War. Blood. Yeah. I'd love that to go. Joining Reddit. Being molested at age 6 by my neighbor. Entire course of my life changed the moment I went into that damn garage. Mail here. I was once working with Jalapias for part of a dinner I was making. My hands were bare as I sliced them open. Stuffed them. Etc. Hands were full of Jalapia oils. Dot. I then had to go to the bathroom. You can figure out the rest. The one time I shat my pants in 8th grade. Being born. Came here just to see how many put their birth as their answer. So far at 23. 13 s the 24th of November. Getting convinced to send a nude when I was 13 and the guy in question calling me fat and telling me my boobs were saggy. Walking into my brother's room at 11. 59 p.m. on the 3rd of April. 2019. Being born into this family. Whatever clicked in my mom's brain that turned her from a loving. Funny. Generous. Caring mom into a cruel. Verbally abusive one. IDK I try not to pity myself too much. My life hasn't been so terrible necessarily. But many would say I've had a lot of ed up things happen. Tonight I feel like I'd like to just not have been born. Clean the slate. Realistically I wish my mom wouldn't have made us become Jehovah's Witnesses when I was 5. A complete doomsday cult. I left earlier this year. Basically burning my life as I knew it down. 
I'm so tired of the existential misery I feel trying to adjust to life without the religion. And I hate that the cost of being free of it was all my friends and family abandoning me. Simply because I didn't want to be one. It was the day I got up head. I had massive traumas. My family was extremely sad and angry at the guy. I still get chills thinking about that day. The man who did it fled and still isn't found till this day which makes it much worse. I can't even face my friends due to re embarrassment it gave me. I feel like my life is sinking. Addiction to certain illegal substances. That 6 month break I took from my partner. That was a mistake. Every other event in my life made me learn something except that. I already knew I was better with them. Being coerced into SX. Saw it coming from a mile away and felt like that night was a wine chess match to get me in bed with them.